Yeah, they are coming out in full force in the last couple hours, especially now that I'm feeling a couple of raindrops coming down. Uh, when you take a look at the, the damage that's out here, they're trying to get rid of a lot of the debris and the glass on the grounds um, and board up some of these windows that have been blown out before that rain starts. And now clearly, you know, they, they've got a rush to do this because the rain is starting on us right now. City officials in a news conference just in the last hour warned the hundreds of thousands of people without power to prepare for it potentially being out for weeks for some of them. That's because we've got at least 10 massive transmission lines toppled down. This all happened when strong winds blew through around dinner time last night. Libraries are actually going to be opening their doors to people as a place to cool down because we're in Texas heat after all. Things are feeling pretty cool today though because of the fact that we have uh, that rain on the way and just about starting. Uh, if you could see our camera live now, we're watching this truck move through and get rid of some of the glass that's on the roads. They've got street sweepers out trying to help with this. So this is going to be a massive effort. There are a number of streets that just look look just like this. Many people are working from home today because of the state of the city. Everything's covered in glass from those windows being blown out in office buildings and hotels. And I could tell you people who stayed in a lot of these hotels right around here last night are looking around at this damage and feeling lucky to be alive. It was kind of crazy because we were, um, I was upstairs in my bedroom and uh, all of a sudden my alarm starts going off, like, you know, tornado warning, tornado warning, take shelter. All of a sudden everything just turns dark and you could see outside the wind started coming in and the rain and it was just dark. Yeah, it got pitch black right around 6.30, 6.45 uh, central time where we are. And then after the storm moved out, moved eastward, it got bright again. So people were able to take photos and kind of take in some of the damage even last night. But of course, those cleanup efforts are really starting in the last couple hours as uh, crews have assessed the damage. You can see we've got a big crosswalk up here that connects a couple of these buildings where crews are going through some of the blown out glass windows and trying to pick out what's left of the glass and likely getting them boarded up ASAP before more rain threatens any of the vulnerable open buildings here in the downtown area, Jane.